All right, what's up guys? I'm back with another video and this one will be all about traveling Dubai on the budget. So, to be honest, like a few months back, I didn't even look into traveling to Dubai because I used to assume it would be crazy expensive, right? And don't get me wrong, it can definitely be that if you wanted to, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that way, right? You can still like travel to Dubai relatively affordable and still have a great time without breaking your back, okay? So in this video, I'm just gonna share some of my tips that I learned from being here for almost a month now. So let's get right into it. Tip number one is definitely to consider what time of the year you want to travel here, right? The high season in Dubai is from November through April and that's when the prices will be at its peak right so if you're willing to travel in the off season well you're gonna save yourself a lot of money when it comes to like flights accommodations activities all that type of stuff I know that's a sacrifice not everyone is willing to make but I can just say that I'm here in June right now and although it's been really hot I've been really enjoying my time here and all the buildings here have AC so don't be afraid to travel in the off season tip number two accommodation one of your biggest expense like without a doubt will be the area you decide to stay in if you're planning on staying in the palm or you know perhaps the dubai marina well sorry to break it to you but it probably won't come cheap all right but if you're willing to make some sacrifices like staying a little bit outside these main hubs well you're gonna save yourself a lot of money right now i stay in the all Borsche heights area and i will say i stay within I don't know, seven kilometers give or take from the Dubai Marina, but the price difference, right, between these two areas, it's like night and day, okay? But the marina is still very accessible for me because I stay right next to the metro station, and if that wouldn't be convenient enough, you know, let's say I go out at night, well, there's always taxis around. If you're fine with staying a little bit further from like the main action, Deira and Mancun are also like two great budget options for your to stay in, so yeah. Keep that in mind before you book your next accommodation. Tip number three, and this will be a short one. If you're trying to stay on the budget, use the metro as much as possible. That's why it's also worth staying close to a metro station, so you don't have to take taxis everywhere. Tip number four, if you like going out, partying, you know, maybe you want to hit up a beach club or something like that, make sure to check out the events calendar for the given places you want to go to because the prices can differ a lot depending on what day you go there. Generally, weekends are more expensive, but I mean, that really goes without saying. So if you want to save yourself some money, consider going out during the weekdays instead. I've been going out during the weekdays quite a lot and there's always a crowd because that's usually when they run these special promos, right? It can be things like free entrance or they might offer you a food and drink voucher for a big portion of the price you pay to get in. Ladies day and night are also very common during the weekdays, sometimes offering free foods and drinks for the ladies of course, so definitely a lot of money to be saved if we're trying to focus on the budget travel perspective here. Tip number five, get the local experience. The old part of Dubai is pretty slept on because most people spend their time, you know, in the downtown areas, right? But visiting the old part of the city is definitely an experience in itself and things around here are generally much more affordable, right? Right now, I'm in the Burr, the Dubai area and I'm gonna show you guys how cheap food can be here. Hi, yes. I'd like to um, have some food. Thank you. Can I have the uh, Arabic shawarma please? Yeah, Thank you. It's very good. Let's try this one as well. Mm. Yeah, this one, the fried banana, actually really good. Thank you so much. Tip number six. If you're lazy like me and you don't feel like going to the old part of Dubai every time you want to enjoy some affordable food, well, food delivery is actually a great option because these like delivery apps, they run great deals pretty often. I've been using Talabad and I just got these two chicken sandwiches for 25 dirhams and yeah, I think that's a pretty great price. All right, so the last point I want to make is that there's a lot of things you can do for free here in Dubai. I mean, just look around. It's beautiful. Taking all these pictures and making all these videos and just enjoying the city for what it is. It's actually a big part of the experience for me. So before I end this video, I just want to say that like your trip to Dubai can be as cheap or expensive as you want it to be. It's really up to you. So yeah, with that said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. It really helps me out and for the video, you know, to get out there and reach more people. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.